Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make those Milky Way photos just that tiny little bit better using these easy tricks in Photoshop. My name is Stan aka Sightseeing Stan and I'm a photographer primarily focusing on travel and landscape photography. So if you're into photography, if you're into photo editing, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Now in my previous video I already showed you how you can get the absolute best out of your Milky Way photos using Lightroom. So if you haven't watched that one yet, just pause this video and go watch that one first. Here we have our edited Milky Way photo that we finished editing in Lightroom in the last video. And we finished all these things up in Lightroom and we're ready to really make this photo pop. So let's go into Photoshop. You can do that by simply clicking on photo edit in and edit in Adobe Photoshop and the image will now open in Photoshop. So now that we have our image opened in Photoshop, what we want to do is we want to make these brightest stars in the image pop a little bit more, making the whole photo stand out even more. So how do we do that? We start by opening a new layer or creating a new layer and then we select our brush tool. We zoom into one of these larger stars like this one here for example and you want to select the brush size that's a little bit bigger than that star. So for this one here it's about 40 pixels. So just by one click we paint over the star and now we just scan over the image looking for other bigger stars and adjusting the size of our brush depending on the size of the star. So this one here is a little smaller, maybe around 25 pixels will be fine. And we just scan over the image looking for the biggest stars. Now you don't want to overdo it because otherwise it will be too noticeable. So just a few of those biggest stars will really make that image look a little bit cooler. So here you can see with and without. It definitely adds a little bit more flair to this image. So let's add a little bit more color to this image. We're going to create another layer. Select our brush tool again and make sure the opacity is set to about 30%. So we want the brush to be a little bit bigger, a soft brush around this size. And then we want to select a color that we see in the brightest parts of the Milky Way. So usually that would be around an orange color and we don't want to have it too saturated. So we want to go somewhere around here maybe a little bit more orange, something like that. And then we just brush over these parts of the Milky Way that have this orange color. And then we want to turn the layer fill down to somewhere around 10 or 15%. So you want these adjustments to be very subtle. And we're going to do the same thing for the blues in the Milky Way. So create another layer, brush tool selected, opacity at 30%, brush size of around 350 in this case, and then let's select a blue color. So we don't want it to be too blue, it's somewhere between blue and cyan. Again, not too saturated. Somewhere around here, I think will be fine. And now we want to paint over these bluer parts of the Milky Way. And again, we're going to drop the fill to somewhere around 15 or 10%. So in this next and final step, we really want to make this image pop. So what you want to do is select your background layer and then create a new adjustment layer. You do this right over here and we want to create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So we'll open this window here and for this first one here we're going to increase the brightness and also increase the contrast. And now what this adjustment layer has done is it has created a mask. So the mask is completely selected now and we want to invert that. So we can do that by clicking Command I or Control I, turning it black. So now the mask is invisible. And then we want to select again our brush tool, set the opacity to 10%. And now we want to brush over the brightest parts of our Milky Way. And then we're going to create another adjustment layer, brightness and contrast again. And we're going to do the opposite. We're going to drop the exposure or drop the brightness and then up the contrast. And now we're going to invert the mask again, command I or control I. And we're going to paint over using the brush tool at opacity 10 over the darkest parts of the Milky Way. So essentially what we're doing is adding more contrast to the Milky Way, making it pop more, getting more detail in the Milky Way. So this was our image without the adjustments. And now with the adjustments, 
You can see it's very subtle, but it definitely makes that Milky Way pop a little more, makes those stars a little brighter, and creates another dimension in the image. I hope you enjoyed these few little Photoshop tricks and I hope they help improve your Milky Way photos. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial or about Milky Way photography, you can always write me in the comments down below. All right, with that all said and done, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.